Everyone is uh, kind of gross looking in this game. Alright, we'll go talk to the clairvoyant. That'll be fine. Former doubters first and foremost, rationalists. Thank you for using the word rationalists to describe followers of uh, Katarina Sabarov, because that is how I feel about rationalists. Hmm. Anyone who can be helped me apart from your wife motive. Hmm. Students these days know nothing of virtue and ethics. Actually, it's about ethics in the study of bull medicine. Hmm. <laughs> I see you like generalizations. I'm a generalization myself. I'll find him. Hmm. Yulia Lyricheva? Hmm. She's less superstitious. Hmm. Katarina. Okay, so we've got a name for Catherine. It's Katarina now. This is Yulia. She came here with an engineering team when the town was being rebuffed. Huh. Logistics or any communications. They said she's a true expert in her field. This polymath. Then the team left, but she stayed. She has my respect, but not my fondness. I need that phrase. Cool. We're we'll gonna talk to Yulia. Put this. Put the fairy tales of this backwards place to the test of algebra and physics. I'm going to say that whenever I need clarification on anything. Put the fairy tales of this place to the test of algebra and physics. Can't run in this game. Can bounce. This will save me any time. The pace of this game is so slow. Okay, that's actually kind of pretty. The bokeh effect, the uh, iPhone 5S going on there. I like that. I'm gonna talk to Catherine. Yeah, okay. Can someone screen grab this? I'm gonna make it my uh, Twitter cover image. No? Okay. Simon, to tame his impertinence, Earth had disgorged a monster from deep within its bowels. Cool. Well, it certainly reminds me that I can make screenshots of Steam. It's true. That would have been a thing to remember. I'm a brave man. Very likely to end my favor. Hmm. If I don't find out what happened before nightfall, I will die. Yeah. Is that a new avatar? I'm pretty sure all the avatars are the same, my dude. Maybe not, though. You know what her new avatar actually looks like? It is Owen Wilson. Can't unsee. Tell me I'm wrong. It's true. So is this a natural? Hmm. How could someone who had absorbed all our blood not die? Uh, what? Hmm. Transformed our town into a single hole, a living being. He was the heart and we were the blood running through the town's veins. We radiated his light and that's why we used to shine so brightly. The bound are actually bound to Simon. Hmm. <clears throat> but who could have killed him? Who's blamed for his death? Even if someone did have something to do with it, is that person worth blaming? More likely they didn't even realize they were killing someone. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're clairvoyant. How do I... I don't actually remember how to screen cap with Steam. Great. 
but I can print screen, so we'll do that. New Twitter cover art. We're doing it. Alright, so now we're gonna go see Yulia the Witch. Yulia the Rationalist. All the rationalists I know are like, thank you for screenshotting my disgusting spider or G man witch. All the rationalists I know are like, peculiarly invested in preventing AI from destroying the earth for people who call themselves rationalists. Mmm, that bokeh again. The fade. The fog actually being kind of foggy looking. Empty bottle is required for the fairies. Oh, we got some blue sky happening here. It's a pretty town. There's at least four colors in this game. Oh, what time is it? Oh, Alright, it's fine. It's like 7.30. Probably gonna play till 8 or 8.30 or the end of this day, whichever comes first. This is a great picture. Background blurring is absurd in a bad way. Is it just me or is everybody really skinny in this remake? I don't recall them being this skinny. The most subtle foley grows out of the most subtle wisdom. That's definitely a new picture for Yulia, too. <laughs> it definitely means you're about to die. No. Herbitvirin is in blossom, Magrecchio, but that blooms every year. Every year the steppe is filled with its stupefying vapors. The issue I'm having, however, has nothing to do with fatigue or perplexity. It is just that I've lost my ability to make distinctive events coincide. A single word someone others may precipitate the birth of their own murderer. This line of philosophizing is barely an intellectual novelty, and is particularly relevant in our neck of the woods. I sometimes feel like I could touch the notions of cause and effect with the tips of my fingers, but now I'm being tedious, I reckon. Yeah, trustworthy tessellation out of the most imperceptible contingencies is great. Um, Yulia did not strike me in the original translation as being more or less uh, wordy than any of the other characters. I definitely do f am feeling more of a distinction in the characters with this translation. Dis her, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's dis her. I'm afraid it's natural. Simon was doing it. Hmm. So you have traveled all the way out here to only to find that both people you wanted to see were brutally murdered. I'm gonna say that every time somebody comes by my desk at work now. Hmm. Alright, ask for your help. Hmm. The best I can offer is to fill in the blanks with whatever mysterious supernatural entities seem most fitting. Perfect. I love you, Yulia. Said Simon had locked himself up in the evening, and consequently died in the morning inside the mansion in a chamber with some peculiar name. <clears throat> Shebnak Adder. The step demonology describes as a kind of golem belched up from the earth to punish all manner of delinquency. It me. It's shaped as a young woman, but made of clay and exhumed bone matter. Always susceptible that primitive worldviews would still exist in remote corners of our country, but I couldn't imagine they'd be so active. I knew you'd be exasperated by this discussion. Sacrifices, bovine tails, handfuls of milk teeth in the glass beaker. What the hell is a... M oh, right, a milk teeth. I know what that word is. Disregard me. You may forgive this chil the children's step people, yet having the same notions reiterated by someone surrounded by books on natural history? This must be quite vexing. The answer is bound to irritate you even more. The tales are true. It's beyond debate that Shabnak Adder exists. What is dubious is that bone mine tails and milk teeth offer genuine protection from her. <laughs> Which is to say, sympathetic contrivances like this may be of some use to children and people from the step, but are explicitly inefficacious for someone like you and me. We are too literate, too deprived of the scripture codified in ancient soil. I guess our brains must be too highly trained to magic thighs. We have no choice but to acknowledge the rules enforced by the step. We tried to ignore those rules, to place ourselves into the... This is such a fucked up thing to give you, like, 40 minutes into the game, is like, yeah, 
both of the people who are your main plot projects have been murdered, and this person who you're the rational person who's supposed to explain it to you is going on about step demons. Puts ourselves into the framework of advanced modernity, no available. You can call these demons what you want. You may refer to the hair eater as the time. <laughs> you may refer to the hair eater as time if this will make you any happier. I am comfortable with a more juvenile vernacular, it is what I am used to. <laughs> Find a rational explanation. Simon was poisoned by the canes I would have thought by another family too well. Hmm. Poisoned. I don't believe you understand what he died in focus really implies. He doesn't to grasp the semantics of the term. Those are the canes for those kinds of innuendo under their forte. Good night. Good night, Mitigated Disaster. Thank you so much for showing up and hanging out in the stream. And good luck with dinner. Have deliciousness. The focus is anything but an abstraction. It is governed by mathematically rigid regularities. No one but the owner of a focus may get inside. This may be the only mean that Simon had brought the killer with him. Rather, within him, since so no physical object may be brought into focus either. Yeah, bring some food back. Prices skyrocket. Day too. Kane's notoriously passion passionate about all matter of syn synthetic anomalies. Hmm. What the heck is a Kunststück? Huh. Lies, who's disfigured and bleeding. Anybody still watching? Uh, this is bare. This game is not just a simple murder mystery, and if it was just a murder mystery, it's clearly already not simple. Hmm. Roji, delete your account. Hi, Wicked Tart. Hello. I'm Saul. Thanks for joining my stream. Isidore seen with Sabarov. He warned Sabarov of an upcoming storm. Always in the step, he started went to me and to report to all three ruling families. In that case, either of the Obinsky families should have been on an itinerary, especially since Barack was one of their own men. That makes sense. The Bull Project from the Abattoir to the Railway. Okay, thank you, Reggie Manwich, for inviting a person to watch this. The bull project is from the abattoir to the railways, controlled by the Olmikski. If Isidore's discovery had anything at all to do with the kin, Isidore would have certainly related to Vlad. So go visit the lump. It was the clot in the previous translation, but it's the lump now. Yeah, TLDR for what's going on. Give me a second. Um, so, we are playing Pathologic. Uh, Pathologic, yeah, we'll go visit the lump. We'll see the lump. Uh, Pathologic is a game about th three doctors who arrive in the town. This is the map of the town. Uh, as it is about to be beset upon by plague. So we have arrived as the bachelor Daniel Dekovsky, who is a bachelor of medicine from the capital. He His explicit aim is to cure death. He showed up here because he heard that there was a dude who had unnatural longevity and wanted to learn the secret of immortality from him, just like Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, but when we got here, we discovered that guy, Simon Kane, had been brutally murdered. So we went to go see the last person who spoke to him, named Isidore Barak, who is sort of a... Uh, local mystic doctor, Isidore Barak, also brutally murdered. So we went to go see one of the leaders of the town, this guy, Alexander Sabarov. Uh, Sabarov told me to go talk to a rationalist about it because we think, he thinks that uh, Simon and Isidore were both murdered by a Shebnak Adder, which is a clay and bone golem from the steppe, which is this deserty region out here. So, that's all completely stupid, but what does it have to do with anything? We are going to go speak, we've spoken with two of the ruling families in this town. The Canes, uh, Simon Kane was the head of that family, and the Sabarovs, which were once powerful family and now have lost most of their power. We're going to go speak with the third ruling family, the Olmigskis, Ol Olgimskis, sorry. 